Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a weekly reading from the 16th to the 22nd of August. So I hope it resonates, I hope you're doing well. If it does, please like, share and subscribe. If not, there is a playlist of timeless messages. You could have a look at that or the August readings are up and the bonus readings are due to come up in the next, I think it's about the 14th. Okay, so here we are. Imagine, beautiful. This is about visualisation. This is whatever you want to create here. It helps to imagine and visualise. So this is the future. Anything that you're wanting in the future here. And it's a two. So it's a great stable, stable card. Twos are stability. Making choices as well about how you want to go forward. Good choices. When I say stable, it's good choices for yourself here. So whatever it is you want to create, now is the time to imagine it. And it helps it manifest and come towards you here. Take a... Very answer card. Perfect timing. Yeah. So whatever you're wanting to create, it's going to come in perfect timing. Like I say, imagining things and visualising things. Visualisation techniques help bring things to fruition a lot quicker and bring your goals forward and towards you a lot quicker. Imagining the feeling of what it would be to achieve what it is you want. So we've got the Justice card, we've got the Four of Cups, we'll clarify this when we're done, the Sun, beautiful joy there, Five of Swords, yeah. Page of Swords, the start of ideas pages you see, opportunities, communication, five of cups, which is going to be the centre reading of this card. The eight of pentacles. Oops, it is it. The moon card. I'm going to take these two because they're in my hand. The seven of pentacles and the three. Of pentacles beautiful stable card here now at the center of this reading here we've got the five of cups the five of cups is dwelling in the past it's crying over spilt milk in a sense it's about any regrets that you may have it's time to to let these go now and start to imagine what it is you want to create for yourself here so we don't want to be dwelling in the past we don't want to be thinking about regrets we want to be thinking that every experience we've had is an experience it's a karmic um it's been a karmic lesson that we've learned. So nothing that you go through or you're feeling isn't worthy. It always serves a purpose. But if you look here, he's looking at the spilt cups here. But if he looks here, you can see the two cups there that are still full. So we want to really be focusing on what we still have here and know what's gone in the past. Now we've got here this four of cups. And this is like an opportunity that the universe is trying to show you. When you're in this, this energy of thinking about the past or dwelling in the past, it's very difficult to see any opportunities that are being pre presented to you in this moment in time. It's always better to be in the present. The past, we can't change it, and the past is gone. I wouldn't be beating myself up about anything that's happened in the past. Like I say, it's all lessons that we need to learn. But the universe is saying, don't be so bored and caught up in what's you know, what's been. I mean, if you look at the three and the two, that's five. The five of cups here. So, I mean, there's plenty of cups around that we could be looking at and our blessings are in these. So the universe is trying to draw your attention to this. There is opportunity still around you and there's blessings still around you. Now, this here looks like a bittersweet victory. This is another five. Now, fives are change for me. So what Spirit's saying is we don't want to be dwelling in the energy of regret or anything from the past, whether it be people, situations or environments we've been in. We want to start to look at, it's been a bittersweet victory. So you might not have got everything out of it that you wanted. But what we've got here is we have got a type of victory. Now, it might have cost you something to move forward. You might have been in battle. It could be in a job that you've had to take that doesn't pay the same amount of money as before. But there's still blessings around you that you could build on here. OK, it could be your environment. It's how you're, it's how you're perceiving. Uh, your, it's the difference between being negative, coming from a negative perspective and a positive perspective. 
we can imagine and we can still create, even although we've been in battles or even although things haven't worked out exactly as we would have liked here. So there's been some things came at a cost. Now, this is the justice card and this is the scales of balance. Right. So this is about fairness here. So you might have to make a compromise here somewhere along the line, but it's a fair outcome from everyone. So please focus on what you've managed to achieve and what you've got out of this situation rather than what you've left behind, because these are the scales of justice. Things have gone the way they're meant to. It's a fair outcome for everyone. And you can see this, the communication. Here's the mental sword here again. So it's about clarity. It's about how you're thinking about things. We must look at it in a just way. Everything that happens and everything that turns out, it turns out the way it is for our, for our, uh, the best. It's the best thing for us. I know it can seem, if you feel you've lost something, it can seem very unfair. But what Spirit's saying here, that this bittersweet victory was the best outcome from, uh, for everyone to go forward now. Because what they're saying is when you think of it like that, there's a lot of joy and happiness can come. So imagining what you would like to, to be happy, because it's a perfect time to be starting to think about how to go forward. This is a playful, joyful, happy card. We can still build on things here. And the reason I'm saying that is because we've got the seven and eight of pentacles. Now, this is about looking at what we still have. Now, this could be within your finances. It could be within your relationships, your home life, your work life, whatever it may be. But there's still, like I say, there's still a certain amount of stability and these things can be looked at. And it's about deciding and being patient about what we're going to put our efforts into here and what we're going to work on. Because whatever it is, you're very good at what you do on a daily basis here. So he's working hard, the Eight of Pentacles, he's working hard, he's got his head down, he's focused, he's decided what's worth putting his efforts into and what isn't. So if there's a situation within your home life, your job, your environment or your finances, your relationships that hasn't gone the way you would like, there's still things can come out of this. We don't want to be dwelling on the negative part of this at all, because this is about starting to see the way forward. Now, this is rising above things here. Now, there's news could come in that could help you. Now, this is the, it could be an idea that comes forward that puts you towards, this could be an opportunity that you maybe think you're not taking seriously, but Spirit wants you to look at it. So it could be an idea that somebody brings to you. Now, if it's a person, Swords are Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. Or this could be you starting to see the way forward because you've decided that you're going to build on what you've got out of something. And look at that and have come from a more positive point of view and start to look at how you're going to make plans to, to bring in the growth and what you're going to focus on here. So it could be you seeing it that way now. It could be you changing a belief system or a perspective that you've got on something, or it could be somebody bringing you in news that's going to help you go towards that. Now, there's things here that are going to be revealed to you that, you know, this could be the news coming in that you didn't see coming, but there's things going to be revealed to you. This could be the opportunity here that you don't quite understand. It's things The universe can present us with things that, that take on a different form. That things and people don't always turn up, or blessings of what we're wanting doesn't always turn up, uh, you know, all dressed up the way we would like them to be. So we might have trouble recognising things. So if there's an opportunity that comes forward, please consider it. It might not be a job that you would have considered in the past. It might not be a, a person that you would have been considered being friends with or having a relationship with, whatever it may be for you. But there's more to be revealed about this situation. There's things you don't see further down the line that will help you with this growth. And when you see that and when the information is revealed, it's going to be good for you because it's going to help you be able to, to create a stable foundation. Now, this can be the employment card. This is a collaboration. So it could be that you need to compromise, like I say, make a compromise with somebody to start building a more solid foundation for yourself. There could be a job opportunity that comes forward. It could be a person that helps you out, like I say here. But this is very, very solid. So please look at this opportunity that comes forward. Use your imagination. Dream big. Don't look at this situation and see it for what in its smallest capacity. They're saying imagine. 
everything. Because through divine timing, there's going to be a lot of growth here and there's going to be great stability. Now, anything that's created at this time here, when you're in this Three of Pentacles energy, is very, it, it means what you put into it, you're going to get out of it. And we've got a lot here about where we're putting our energies in a practical sense. Where are we going to build? What's worth putting our efforts into to create this Three of Pentacles, this stable environment? So it could be, like I say, a job opportunity. It could be a relationship opportunity. It could be that you've sold a house and you've not got as much money as you thought you were going to get out. Of it. You've had to let it go. Anything. It's this feeling that things haven't gone exactly as I planned, but there's still plenty of growth to be had. It's how you mentally perceive this situation that's the most important thing of all. Now we'll bring these cards down and I'm going to clarify. I'm going to clarify the five of cups here, please, Spirit. Can you clarify the five of cups? Yeah, again, this is what I'm saying. Please don't dwell in the past. There could be things that you've had to let go and you might hear news and it, it's going to be good news that things went the way they did in the future. Yes, because this is definitely, and that's what I was trying to say to you here, this is definitely about looking at things from a different perspective. Look at things from every opportunity, if, I beg your pardon, every angle possible. Now, he normally hands from the tree of knowledge, so use all your knowledge now. You can feel kind of stuck here, but spirit holds you in this energy so that you can start to actually uh, review things, learn and, and get clarif clarification here. So this is gaining knowledge. Knowledge is power in this situation. So this has been a, a, ju a karmic justice that's been served here if there's a bittersweet victory going on in your life. And this here is about, like I say, things will be revealed. It's about starting to create passionate new beginnings. Whatever you're passionate about here, you want to put your energies into, it's time to recognize that. And aces are new beginnings. So dream big, whatever makes your heart sing, it's the perfect time to be looking to the future here. Let's see, we'll just take the knowledge card. Look at the bigger picture. I, you know, absolutely. We need to look at a bigger picture here, Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. So your family, there's plenty of blessings around you. Spirit's protecting you here. The answers you need are coming. That's what I'm saying. There's things going to be revealed to you in the future that will help you to create this beautiful new beginning. So I hope this helps, Cancer. Please like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.